Hey guys, what's going on? So here we'll be working on a Andes GTX T outliner. We will be zero gapping the blade. So I've done this plenty of times. It's um, pretty simple and I got it down. This is a quick run through of how I do it. We do have my screwdriver coming in with the Phillips head. Uh, you gotta make sure you keep one on deck in case your clippers give out. The GTX coming in. Yeah, it's real simple. So we grab the Phillips head and unscrew the two screws on the top, which will loosen up the blades for it to come off so we can get to zero gapping. Excuse me, guys, I have my fan on and it's super loud. I'm just here in my room. Please excuse my fan. As you see, the blade comes off real simple. So they're already zero gap, but I'm willing to risk it for the video. So we're going to take them apart. You got to loosen up those two screws. That's, those two screws is what uh, holds the cutting blade intact. So you barely loosen them, probably turn them like an inch, maybe not even. Or I guess half a rotation. Rotation. You see how the blade is loosened up? It's a little too loose for my liking. So I like to get it kind of as close as possible. That already looks pretty zero gaps. Like I said, I've been doing this for a while. Well, I've been doing this for a while. Uh, I get it so much close and I tighten them up. Man, barely anything. Just a quick little turn. Just enough to be able to move the blade around. Yeah, guys, right here, I'm kind of just messing with the blade, just seeing how tight it is, how loose, if I can push it up. Uh, sometimes I'll get the screwdriver and tap it, like kind of inch it forward, or I guess in this case, centimeter it forward. Yeah, so the screwdriver wasn't working, so I used my just pressure with my fingers. Push it up just a little bit, just enough close to the edges. So you like to get it up nice and close and kind of run your fingers over the top uh, from the cutting blade, I mean, from the outer blade to the cutting blade to see if you feel like any scratches. If you feel the scratches, it's gonna be super sharp. And super sharp is what we're trying to avoid so you're not leaving any scratch marks or cutting, cutting a customer yeah you gotta keep them right so right here i'm tightening up the bottom screw of the cutting blade screws oh i guess both of the screws i'm tightening up just a little bit more so i have some more pressure to see exactly where i'm gonna keep the blade it looks good to me it looks nice and close and sharp we're gonna push it up just a little bit just enough use the black glove as a good background to see the difference it looks spot on to me Maybe just a nice little more push up higher. And once it's nice and pushed up, it's already tight. Put the two antenna looking style things from the GTX into the antenna holders and put the oiled up little lever, which causes the blade to move into its spot. I took off the outer blade so you can see the cutting blade, how it looks. Put the outer blade back onto the cutting blade, make sure it snaps It'll have to snap right there. Line them up correctly with the two holes where the screw goes, or where the screws go. Yeah, it snaps, you see right there, where it fits nice and snug. Pop the screws back in, and I like to screw one in one at a time. So. Oh, hold on. So I had a little issue there. I guess it wasn't lined up correctly. Uh, line them up right, put the screws in. Okay, so let me just switch sides. I switched the sides and getting it screwed in. It's working. Oh, it's not working yet. My bad, guys. 
got to get it lined up with the hole correctly where it's still snapped on and i think that's it right there yes sir hold it nice and tight see my grip on it pop the screw in there twist 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 put the other one don't put it fully but put it pretty close tighten it up and you keep checking the blade make sure it doesn't move see it's somewhat tight it's still zero gap nice and clean yes sir the glove, the glove for the background make sure it's on you see it well nice and tight and there you have it guys zero gap and these t aligners So once it's zero gap and everything's tight on, I still give it one more check. I'll crank it on right here. And I like to do the inside of my forearm because it's a very soft spot. Uh, it's very sensitive, just like the back of the neck. So whatever you feel there is what your customer will feel. See, that's still a little too sharp. If you can see the left side, it's leaving a little white mark, a little scratch. But I like mine to be a little sharp. You can go ahead and redo it if you want. Uh, re zero gap them or keep it how it is and just be careful. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. Thank y'all.